Hi everyone, welcome back to Liberty Park Music. My name is Z, and today we'll be learning how to play Collide by Howie Day. It's a very simple four chord song that anyone can pick up. So if you have any questions throughout this video lesson, please feel free to leave it as, as a comment down below. Then I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, let's jump right into the lesson. So the first thing you should know about this song is in order to play it accurately in the same key as the recording, you either want to put your capo on the 3rd fret or the 4th fret. Um, if I'm not wrong, the acoustic version has it on the 3rd fret and the full band version has it on the 4th fret. Anyways, the 4 chords we'll be using in this song are G major and then D slash F sharp. But instead, instead of playing my D slash F sharp like that, what I do instead is I do what's more like a D sus slash F sharp. So I just move my index finger down a half step. And then I go into E minor 7. And finally a C at 9. And those are pretty much the chords for the entire song. Uh, just repeat it over and over again. So the strumming pattern follows your typical kind of pop song strumming pattern. So it's simply just down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Up to speed, it's, it'll sound like one and two and a three and a four and a one. Da, 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 da. So why don't you go ahead and do this with me for a while. We'll be doing it at a slower pace. So down, 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 down. with the chords on my left hand. Okay, so this bridge section is, is the only section that's slightly different from the rest of the song. So essentially, he's using three chords to play this bridge section. An E minor chord, just a regular E minor, a C major 7, and a D major chord. But the timing for this section, it sounds like this, let me play it first. So let me break it down for you. Um, the first chord, the E minor, he normally picks the 6th string, 4th string, and 2nd string. But th these patterns can be switched around quite a bit. You, you don't have to s stick to this. You can do... Yeah, but that's what he's playing for now. And these notes come on 1 and 2. And on the 2 end, you switch to your C major, C major 7. And then for C major 7, he's playing the 5th string, 4th string, and 3rd string. So combine the E minor with the C major 7, it's 1 and 2 and 3 and... Sorry, let me count that again. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. And on the 
four, he strums the D major chord. So one more time. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. And then he kind of just repeats that. I think it's for three or four times. Then it goes back into the same. then you end the song with a final chorus and that's pretty much it. And that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and again if you have any questions please leave it as a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, additionally if you enjoyed this video lesson please feel free to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.